you wouldn't expect brainless blobs lurking in oceans across the globe to be dangerous. Well, guess again. These animals are literally heartless. Some can even kill you where you stand or swim. It's hard to believe anything that is 95% water can be considered a lethal weapon. When it comes to jellyfish and their eerily long tentacles, we've all heard stories of how painful their sting can be. Agonizing discomfort is one thing, but injecting toxins able to cause cardiac arrest is quite another. Why are certain jellyfish just as dangerous when they're dead? How large and small are these killers? Which of our five jellyfish is classified as the most venomous marine animal on Earth? Number five, kaboom! It's the cannonball jellyfish. Like all jellyfish, the cannonball variety are missing a heart, blood, and brain. Despite that, it's equipped with a central nervous system that enables it to smell and sense light. It's also capable of releasing a paralyzing toxin to immobilize its next meal and has a sting packing enough of a punch to cause a heart attack. Steering clear of the cannonball jellyfish. Number four, the fire jelly is a handful of hurt. Officially known as Morbaca fineri, we prefer its much cooler sounding fire jelly nickname. It's only the size of your fist, but its tentacles can be up to one meter in length. Crossing paths with its stingers in the waters around Australia can leave you vomiting as you endure full body spasms while you try to fight off complete respiratory failure. Think that's bad? You ain't seen or felt nothing yet. Wait till you see number three. Beware anything named after a lion. Meet the colorful lion's mane jellyfish, all 37 meters of it. The largest jellyfish on the planet and longer than a blue whale. It's over two meters wide and can have as many as 1,200 tentacles engineered to shock their prey to death. Those tentacles and their neurotoxins can cover a lot of territory, even after the lion's mane jellyfish is dead. Just ask the dozens of swimmers at a New England beach who found themselves being stung repeatedly by a lion's mane jellyfish's floating corpse. Number two, Irukandji, the transparent assassin of Australia's oceans. They're the size of a sugar cube with tentacles one meter long. And these tentacles are laced with tiny harpoons that deliver deadly venom 100 times stronger than that of a cobra's in nanoseconds. This sting is so toxic, its life-threatening after effects have been christened Irukandji syndrome. There is no known anti-venom available, just to guarantee you're gonna be headed to a hospital hoping your heart doesn't stop pumping. And finally, number one, it swims faster than you. It can see. It's the sea wasp. There are 50 varieties of box jellyfish, but the most lethal of the bunch and their 24 light sensitive eyes are found around Northern Australia and the Indo-Pacific region. How lethal are they? The paralyzing venom of the sea wasp jellyfish is powerful enough to launch a simultaneous attack on your nervous system and vital organs. This sends you into almost instantaneous shock, followed by death within minutes. Have you had a painful close encounter with a jellyfish? Tell us in the comments below, so we can be afraid to go in the water forever. Just in case you're not spooked enough about dipping a toe in the ocean, Check out the Crazy Creatures episode on this dangerous siphonophore better known as the Portuguese Man of War. It might look like one thanks to tentacles that reach lengths of nearly 30 meters, but this beast that can travel in groups of nearly a thousand isn't a jellyfish. But guess what? It still stings. They come in all shapes and sizes, plus pack enough venom to kill you before you're done watching this episode. That's why these jellyfish are crazy creatures.